I'm Monte Carlo. I'm a chef and food network personality. We're hanging out at the Woodbine Club to check out the infamous charcuterie and seacuterie board from the one and only chef de cuisine, Michael Mortensen. This is a perfect example of an incredible charcuterie board because again, you have all the different textures, you have the acidity. We have four different types of uh, seacuterie. Uh, we have a fennel and red wine salami. We have hay smoked uh, salmon pastrami. So instead of just smoking the salmon, we at the racetrack, we smoke with hay. This is gorgeous. I almost don't want to mess it up. Yes. Oh Cheers. Cheers. Mm. The figs are fresh. You can make your own amazing charcuterie board at home, just like Chef Michael Mortensen's. Just follow these three winning tips. Number one, make sure that you have different textures on your board. So you're gonna to wanna to play with harder meats like salumis and softer meats like pâtés. Bring the acidity. It's so important to have acidity at the party when you have so many fatty cuts of meat and fatty cheeses. It's gonna cut right through to your palate and elevate all of those flavors. Bring the heat. You know, all of these flavors are great, but nothing kills it better than that little smoky heat coming in on the back of your tongue from either a red pepper flake or some pickled hot peppers. You decide. Sweetness and acidity and heat and tartness, it's all you need for a perfect charcuterie board. We're winning already.